Whether the topic is transforming the automobile or conquering the next frontier of space, Elon Musk has shown a real knack for captivating an audience beyond investors and just science geeks. The brash Tesla chief executive officer is now the world's wealthiest person following the electric automaker's meteoric rise. He was born in South Africa, but by all accounts he seems to have turned his back on this country. I want to talk now to Toby Shapshak. He's the editor-in-chief of the tech magazine Stuff. Toby, good afternoon to you. A, a real enigma is Elon Musk. First of all, what has catapulted his wealth status? Well, uh, yes. Uh, hello, Jeremy. He is an enigma, and he's a, and he's a brilliant, and, and we're proud of him, certainly, even if he wants to disown or disavow South Africa. Um, it, it's been a surge in, his, in his, the, the share price of Tesla, his electric car company, and it really has rocketed up. Uh, he's now worth $186 billion, making him $1.5 billion richer than Jeff Bezos, the Amazon founder and CEO, who's been in the number one spot since October 2017. But it's the share price of Tesla that has just gone up and up and up. And uh, they missed their target by, I think it was 500 or 5,000 cars uh, for the year. They wanted to make half a million cars. It's an impressive business that he's got running there. He's had just a phenomenal year of successes. SpaceX, his, his space exploration company, uh, uh, launched two American astronauts um, to the International Space Station. That's the first time uh, that's happened since they retired. The space shuttle, the first time it's happened, or the launch has been in America. It's been a really, really great year. There's, the astronauts were driven out to the, the space yes. rocket. Um, in a Tesla, obviously, uh, and he's just he's just gone from strength to strength. He's deployed a, a series of, of low orbit satellites called Starlink using SpaceX rockets over northern America and Canada. Remember, he left South Africa at age 17 to go study in Canada before studying at the University of Pennsylvania. We claim him, Jeremy, he's ours. If you come from Pretoria, you come from Pretoria. I know this. My, my mother was born in Pretoria, so we are, you know, if you're born in Pretoria, you're born in Pretoria. We, we you can't get away from it. And he's, he is a South African, and he is the richest man in the world. Who would have thunk it? Don't knock Pretoria, Toby Shapjack. We have lots of very loyal viewers to this program who live in that city. Don't want to put you in a difficult position. I love position, Pretoria. But so do I. Don't want to put you in a difficult position, but you move in exalted circles unlike me. Have you met him? Have you engaged with him? Have you perhaps been at a tech conference where he's spoken at? I've been at a conference he spoke at, uh, South by Southwest. Uh, I haven't met him and I haven't engaged with him, although his uncle uh, Michael is my doctor. Um, and uh, he's, a, he's from, all in, from all impressions, you can just see how he is. But I think Jeremy, in many ways, he's a bit like all these celebrities and these football stars who end up in a kind of echo chamber surrounded by uh, highly paid people who say yes, so no one ever contradicts you. So, so I think he comes out with these occasional odd things on Twitter. He says strange stuff. You know, he did that 420 uh, tweet when he thought that's what Tesla shares should go private at. It's also a reference to the time of the afternoon to smoke a joint. You know, there's some kind of occasionally reckless things he does. Cost him $20 million and cost Tesla $20 million. But seeing as he's individually worth $186 billion, I don't think he, he really cares anymore. I will finish with a, a brilliant thing I heard him say at South by Southwest and he said he wants to die on Mars just not on impact. Sorry Toby you lost me at the specific time that you're allowed to roll a joint in the afternoon I did not know that. Very quickly um, his relationship with South Africa you say he's disavowed the country what, why is it a, a, a tricky relationship? I, d I don't know, Jeremy. No, there's never been any direct reportage on it. It's always reportedly. Reportedly, he's had these issues. There are reported stories of the, the Pretoria Boys High asking for a donation and him saying, I'll give you $100,000 on condition he never contact me again. We don't know if that's true. I've never called the school to ask it. But he's, you know, he's often said he's, he could never have done what he's done in South Africa. He could only have done it in, in America. And, and 
Well, so he has. He's built this vast, not just one, but several vast empires. You know, Steve Jobs is considered the man who changed the world. He invented the Macintosh. He invented the iPhone. He was the biggest shareholder in, in Disney after he sold Pixar to them. He invented the iPhone. Uh, all of these six different industries that Jobs has, has radically changed, transformed. Elon Musk has done significantly more. He was involved in online payments with X.com, which, which bought pay. PayPal, PayPal.com, still one of the greatest online payment systems, electric cars through Tesla, and SpaceX. And he's also said very clearly that his ultimate goal is to save humanity from global warming. We have to get off the, the drug that is fossil fuel and start using recyclable energy. And for that, we need batteries. And that is the, the core business, actually, of Tesla. And he makes these brilliant power walls. I desperately want a power wall, too, uh, when they are available for sale. I put my name down on the waiting list, because that's the heart of, of a solar system for your house or your business. Uh, and he may well be the man who's now the richest man in the world. He may well be the man who transforms the world the most. And he came from Pretoria. And he came Lovely. from Pretoria. And thank you for making me and I would imagine lots of others, Toby, feel utterly inadequate on this uh, Friday afternoon.